Morning, gang. Uh, hey, wow, question already. Rebecca, is this for beginners? Today, absolutely. Every day, absolutely. Um, nothing that I do. I love that we already have people liking the video. That's amazing. Thanks, guys. Uh, ooh, I need to shave. Let me remind me to shave after this video is done. Uh, I will go and get that done. So, Rebecca, to answer your question, yes, it is absolutely for beginners. All of these videos are for beginners. Uh, this is a bit, this is going to be a uh, steady state consistency workout. So this workout is about giving you plenty of time on the machine. We're going to be one hour. I'm on the bike. You can be on the row, the ski, the bike. You can walk. Um, you can jog. You can do what you need. A lot of people have just been able to like tune in while doing their activity. Yesterday was definitely an interval day. Today is going to be a steady uh, distance day. So we're going to be on this for one hour. Exactly. I'm running the clock here and uh, and we're going to do this together. So intensity is what you need it to be. So uh, you moderate as you need on today's workout. There is no right intensity level for this. In fact, I'd like it to be a little bit lower. So if you are looking for just a nice smooth day, that's what this workout is going to be. And uh, with that being said, are there any other questions before we get this thing programmed into the monitor? Oh, Teresa. Sorry, I didn't see you before. Uh, can't make it this morning, Shane, but I'll be doing the rowing workout this afternoon, and it'll be great. Looking forward to it. Thank you. You're very welcome. James, feeling strong today. Um, funny, after yesterday's workout, however many, you, how many of, however many of you were present. Uh, afternoon, Dan. Welcome. Um, I knew, you know, I said my quads would be sore. Sure enough, they are very sore. Um James, what's the split? No prescribed split today. It's steady state. So for those of you who have done, how many of you guys have done steady state or do you know what steady state means? Essentially, it is going to be that for this hour, it is just one steady rhythm all the way through. Um, that's it. That is the intent of steady state is just to keep a slow, steady burn for the hour going. Um, this is not going to be like a roller coaster or, you know, the, the every 10 minute on the 10 minute, like we did yesterday, today's going to be steady state. Um, and basically you're going to flush the legs. I want you to just have like a, a rolling sweat kind of rolling through the hour. That's the objective here. Um, thinking about it, if you want to give yourself some metrics, because again, I, I'm not going to prescribe a time or a pace or a split on this because everybody's going to be different. If I were to give some kind of prescription, it would be it would be like 10K if you've ever done a 10K, like plus four, maybe 10K plus four to, to eight. Um, that would kind of be the range that I would be giving you. Like you can talk, but not very easily. Uh, you can, you know, that, that, that kind of rhythm is what we're looking at. Um, and if, if anything, you would want to negative split this piece, meaning you just get gradually faster as the piece goes on. So that, you know, in the final 20 minutes, like you feel like you really settled into your rhythm and you've, you've found kind of what you're shooting for. So that's today's workout. Um, for those of you who don't have a machine on hand, what I'm going to encourage you to do is either if you can get out for a walk or we're essentially I'm going to have you guys basically like pacing. <laughs> you're going to pace your, your house, the, the confines of your space. And we're essentially going to walk it together. I just don't want you to stop moving. That's the point. And I know that may seem silly. If you're in an apartment in a big city and you only have, you know, 500 square feet, that may seem really silly. But you have no idea how much just moving for an hour is going to benefit you both mentally and physically. And again, we're working with weird times right now. So um, you definitely are going to have the, you know, like pacing mentality. But it's going to go a lot faster because we're all going to be talking to each other and you can be contributing majorly in the comments if your hands free. So um, where do I usually put my damper on the row machine? It really depends, James, on the distance, but generally I'm never above a damper setting of 125 or a, sorry, a drag factor of 125, which is like a four and a half, never really above a four and a half. And I'll drop it lower um, the longer the distance goes right now, I'm dead set on a uh, dead center on a four on my machine for my damper setting. Um, not exactly sure what the, the drag factor is on that, but it is what it is. A um, couple house cleaning notes. Did you catch our video this morning? If not, you should. Uh, I basically went over my favorite tech accessories or just accessories for the machine. Um, 
from the phone mount that I use to the watch and the heart rate monitor and um, all that fun stuff, the camera that I like to film with on the side. Uh, so if anybody has ever been, if you've ever asked a question, like, what are you wearing? What shoes do you have? What I, I was like, I just answered in the comments every time and I figured let's just do a video about it. So that video is live this morning. So if you haven't, go check that out after we're done. Um, what else? What else? What else? That's it for now, I think, on the house cleaning stuff. Newsletter is going to go out a little bit later this morning. Um, Claire, uh, who write, who helps me write the newsletter, we, we, we just, things got muddled yesterday. I'm on like 50-50 dad, dad half the day, work half the day. So I'm working about 50% capacity right now. Uh, Steven, yeah, it was a good video. Thanks. You're very welcome. Uh, okay. I'm going to program it. Kyle, hi, Shane. How's your morning? It's going pretty good, Kyle. Thank you for asking. How was your morning? I've already had breakfast. I've been up hanging out with the, the kiddo. Um, and now I'm just listening to my chickens out here. They're serenading us as we go. All right. I'm going to turn on my monitor and then we're just going to get rolling. And obviously we're going to talk this whole way through. So, um, I had an idea. I'll run it by once we start. All right. From the main menu, we're going to go to select workout. That's a B. Then you're going to hit new workout. That's D and single time B left arrow. That's D plus button. That's B right arrow. That's A minus button is the C. You're going to hit that twice. One, two, sorry, three times. And then you're going to hit the check mark E. There's your check mark. No, I don't need to verify for a world record. Okay, I have one hour on my monitor. I'm going to give you just a second to catch up. Get an hour on your monitor as well. And that's probably enough time. So with an hour on your monitor, I have my water handy, which is not very full. I should have done a better job of that, but it's okay. Uh, I have my shoes clipped in. I'm sitting on my bike. You are on whatever machine you are on, and let's do this. We're going to get ready in three, two, one, and go. And we're off. Hey doggo. Um, Dave and Lennon, have I thought about leasing rowers? Uh, I no, I haven't thought about leasing. I've thought about just giving them to people. Um, all the machines that I have that I can uh, have been loaned out on indefinite loan as long as people promise to take care of them. So uh, they have them for free right now. Um, anybody, and there were two. It was a, the coxswain from our rowing club. And uh, one of the other guys there had asked early enough that I was able to get them to them for free as long as they picked up and take good care of them and give them a deep clean when they're done. I'm good with that. What about you, Dave? Kyle, good. I did your Friday live workout this morning. I'll do today's workout tomorrow morning, but I'll still be here for the live stream. Love it. Kyle, where in the world are you? Dave in London. Wow, that's really generous. Dave, that's... I mean, that's kind of like the mode that, I, that, that I'm that i putting Dark Horse in right now. That's why I'm doing these live videos every day. Um, it's all for free. There's nothing I'm, nothing I'm hiding. Nothing. Like I basically just told the team that our revenue model will just be put on pause until all of this gets sorted. Um, it's just not the time to be asking, you know, in my opinion. Uh, you're welcome to disagree, and that's okay. I'm not saying that my way is the right way. Um, Nancy, love it. Saw your comments on the video this morning. Thanks for commenting, by the way, Nancy. Um, and I answered your comment. Don't know if you saw it yet. But yes, we get credit. If you use the links in the description. Um, and then what was your question specifically? Oh, it's about whether or not the seat pad, you have to get the straps. The one that I suggested, I believe, has a an anti-slip on the underside. Uh, so I don't think you need the straps for that. Hasnick, his workouts are helping keep the sanity. Big thanks, Shane. You're very welcome, Hasnick. Kyle's in Arkansas, two hours ahead. Love it, Kyle. Are you doing the workouts? Or how many of them have you done, I should ask? Boy, this is going to be good for my quads today. Um, so anyways, what I was saying is, I mean, our goal, honestly, is just to give right now. If you guys haven't, you know, we have our, we gave away a 30 day workout plan for free. That's up and posted. Um, we have these every day for free. We are, 
I'm, I'm believe next week, Monday, we're going to launch a competition for free uh, in partnership with um, Throwdown. They're a competition software. So we partnered with them to launch a free competition. So get excited for that. That'll be fun. Uh, Karthik KSS started running yesterday at a 5K. Set a baseline. I slept two hours more than normal this morning, so I'm going to skip today. <laughs> Funny how that happens, right? Nancy, you want the CPAD. Hope to get it today. Let me know your thoughts, honestly. If you love it, you hate it, let me know. By the way, how many of you guys have invested in bidets so far? This guy. I've been wanting a bidet forever with the whole toilet paper shortage. I was like, well, this is, why not? It's about time. So, swapped over to bidets in this household. Hi, everybody. Huh? Try. Let's see. Yeah, that's fine. The family's joining. What's actually been cool is that it makes all of us get out into the gym every day as a family. Steve, I just purchased new C2 Model D. Came one hour ago. The hard plastic seat is now a bit softened. It's Fuji compares to my gym version. The hard plastic seat is now a bit soft and squidgy compared to the gym. Interesting. So you feel like they changed the seat. Congrats on getting it, Steve. So you've assembled it already. Not that it takes that long. Very quick assemblies. Alex Mills, hello from the great state of Texas. Started following your channel. Have my dining place. Figured rowing would be the best workout for me. 130 pounds to lose. Congrats, Alex. And honestly, really nice job on getting your your, nutri your nutrition squared away first. That's a big deal. And far more important than the fitness. The fitness is whatever inspires you and you enjoy doing and you'll continue doing. So that's a really, really great choice. Congrats. I hope we can help you. I hope that... What? <laughs> it's out. Because it's going after the food now. I think we need, if we let the chickens out, I think we need to start closing the coop doors. <laughs> we have a crow in our chicken coop right now. <laughs> Away goes the wife. Oh, that crow. <laughs> the, my family running after a crow in the chicken coop. So we give all of our food scraps to the chickens. So we bring, you know, fresh chicken, uh, fresh food scraps out every day. And all the other animals are starting to catch on now. Crows, squirrels. Um, I think, I'm sure the rabbits at night are. But uh, <laughs> we just had a crow in the chicken coop. <laughs> That's funny. Yesterday, a squirrel ran through all of our chickens. I'm really confused the chickens. <laughs> they were all out in the, out in the yard. They didn't quite know what to make of that. Anyways, Alex, um, congratulations. Wise purchase. I hope that we're here for you. Start and just do a little bit at a time. Make sure it's manageable and doable and consistent. Steve, yeah, new seat. Cool. Um, Andrew, be nice to the crow. Super intelligent. Yeah, for sure. We are more than most humans. <laughs> yeah. Um, we are nice to crows, but we still don't want them in the chicken coop. But we love, we are happy they're around because they keep the hawks away. So we're more than happy with them being out in the yard with us. We just don't want them in the coop because, you know, keep that little sacred space for the chickens. Um, soccer mom, one, two, four, five. You're very welcome. Um, yeah, so we love crows because we have a lot of hawks in the area. Obviously, chickens are good targets. Um, so, um, the crows do a really great job of keeping the hawks like off the ground and not coming too close to the chicks. Where'd she go? 
you went to get your warmy shoes? Because it's chilly out here. So where is everybody? Let's do our location check-in for the day. I'm curious. Where are you guys? Where in the world? It's always interesting in the mornings versus the afternoons to see where people are coming from. I feel like the mornings we get a lot bigger European crowd. Idaho. Randy, welcome from Idaho. What are you choosing today? Are you biking, skiing, or rowing with us? Karthik, Seattle. All right, Karthik, welcome. Nancy, Massachusetts. Seen a lot of domestic so far. Leeds, back to rowing. <laughs> Damn. Steve, Scotland, awesome. The UK crowd is strong here. Y'all are showing up for the lives really well. Appreciate you guys. Randy, real risky or debating biker. Like debating picking one up or debating you have one and you're debating adding it in today. You guys, by the way, last night was three weeks post, um, what do they call it? Post discharge from the hospital. And four weeks is when I'm told I'm allowed to start bracing my trunk again. So that means ne by next Monday, hopefully I will begin my first act of picking something up in a month. Um, Amazon don't one yet. Amazon doesn't have them yet. Are you sure about that? I think we might even have a link in our description to a biker. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyways, yeah, three weeks post discharge, one month post accident today or tonight. Um, Randy, don't have one. I'll order via Amazon. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Good. If you think of it, Randy, we always appreciate if you use our affiliate links in the descriptions. Just helps keep, the, helps keep the channel going. I'm trying something new the last two days. I put a tripod on top of the monitor to elevate me a little bit so that I'm like looking at you guys, not down at you. I think I like this a little bit better. What are you doing today, babe? You just gonna lift? Just low rep heavy. If y'all ever feel like lifting, family's gonna be doing heavy lifting over here. Find something heavy, lift it with good technique, and do it a few times. <laughs> That's my weight prescription for you today. <sighs> I'm definitely feeling that quad soreness from yesterday. Shane, I feel like there's a little slack at the beginning of my rower stroke. At what point do you have any arm bend? Not until the very last second, Kyle. That slack is generally because you're not triggering your legs. So as you slide forward, you're not pushing with the legs instantly. There's a delay. So you start pushing, but it's like a, a lazy push. I'm not calling you lazy, I'm just there's like a lazy push. And then usually it's when your head and shoulders open that all of a sudden you feel tension. You're like, oh, okay, there's the stroke. The problem is you're essentially not using the legs for that, Kyle. So what you have to train is being at the catch position, fully compressed. And how do you give an instantaneous press down of the foot so that all of the leg muscles engage and push in to the foot stretcher? When you feel slack at the beginning of the stroke, that's exactly what's happening. Steven, I had an alert to join this, and the meeting I was on wouldn't end. Damn it. I'm going to join now. Good, Steven. We're only 13 minutes in. So you just tack on 13 minutes to the end of this. So if you just program an hour, 
I'll tell you our minute mark for the next two minutes. That way, in two, one has 47 minutes left on my monitor. Hey, Kenny, you cannot draw above that board, sweetheart. You see how you just drew on the wall? You gotta draw down there, okay? You cannot draw on that board, beautiful. There's a new paint project for me. LF Mars 98, thanks for the videos. The Concept 2 Rower has helped me in my recovery from broken femur. Boy, did I lock my arms for the catch? Absolutely. Arms are straight, shoulders are reaching, and then you engage down into the lat, not by breaking the elbow, but by engaging from here and bracing through the midline. Now, That's our 46 minute, Steve, Steven, Steven. Told you I'd tell you the next minute, that's 46. So you can catch up with us. And you just know you'll have 14, 13, 14 minutes extra at the end, which isn't bad. So what would you guys like to see for next Tuesday's video? Give me some ideas. Doing the best that I can to like stay consistent and normal with our videos, um, which is a challenge. <laughs> you know, it gets a little, it's kind of weird when nothing is happening out in the world. You're like, I, do I just keep doing the same thing? And I think so. I think the answer is yes. You guys probably just want to continue to feel normalcy from us. So I'm not going to, probably not going to do any more like COVID-19 anything. I'm just going to kind of try and keep business as usual. But if you have ideas for videos that you'd like to see or that you think would do really well, drop them in the comments, I wanna know. No ideas at all? Nothing? How about Sally up, Sally down session? <laughs> Alan, I like that idea. If I could get... If I could get music, um, just keep workouts rowing. By rowing, do you mean going? Kyle, 30-minute workout, what? Yeah, true. I just can't play it without getting demonetized. So, I... That's true. But they're saying for video on for next week. Power with rest. Yep. Trying to think what kind of intervals. Oh, sorry guys, I meant for our Tuesday video, like like uh, our our how to's, the videos we released in the morning. I could sing it, I could sing it. <laughs> Does that mean I have to do the workout and sing it at the same time? <laughs> you guys heard me karaoke last week to something, I don't remember what. Sumo deadlift? Okay. <laughs> Randy, the, I assume that's the singing idea. I'll work on that. I got a good rolling sweat going. What about you guys? I'm feeling it for sure. Feeling a little unfocused today. 
as a check-in with you guys from concussion side of things. My brain's feeling a little fuzzy this morning. Feeling a little more vertigo-y today. Did I start something here? Sorry. <laughs> no, Alan, it's a good suggestion. I like it. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Sally up, Sally down. I mean, I can only do air squats. So, you know, we just do it with air squats. I suppose that's better for the majority anyways. More people would be able to do it. That's not the right table. None of those will be. Ooh, so what's going on in everybody's lives? Talk to me. Talk to each other in the comments. What do you have going on? How are you feeling? How many of us are on lockdown versus not? How is this impacting your life right now? What's up? What's up? Glad to always see the workouts and your happy motivation. Thanks. And I, I honestly, I'll be honest, guys, right now I feel a little flat for you. So I'm sorry for that. Um, I'm not sorry for myself. But, you know, to you, if you're saying, hey, Shane feels a little off, I feel a little off. So some, some days are better than others on the concussion. I'm feeling like my brain's moving a little slow right now. My words are having trouble catching up to my brain. Someone earlier got my first sub-19 5K yesterday. On the rower, thanks to your vids yesterday. Awesome. I love that. How's that feel? Someone or another. Proud of yourself? Bella just ordered the recommended phone holder and gel pad I suggested. Amazon is a lifesaver. It's true. And they're still flowing pretty decently. Like, stuff got weird for a few days. It's amazing how they're, they've picked right back up. Alan, Germany's all shut down. Yeah. Randy Waters, Nothing. I'm locked down. I do commercial real estate. Wife is pregnant. And that's Crohn's laying low. Wait. Man. Every family has just got got their stuff, right? I'm so sorry to hear that. Someone I've seen improvement is always awesome. Cal, Arkansas isn't too bad yet. But most people are working from home. Danny, we're supposed to move to a new house this week. Since the quarantine, maybe that will not happen. 90% of the house is packed. Oi, that's tough. Just living out of boxes right now with the unknown sitting in front of you. Guys, let's, you know what? I got an idea. So for the next five, five minutes, we just passed uh, 39 minutes left. Being North Dakota, we're like permanently quarantined already. <laughs> that's a good point. Um, so I have an idea. We'll start at the next minute. But I want everybody, because we all have junk happening right now. Stress, frustration. Life isn't doing what it's supposed to right now. And whatever your circumstances are, I want you guys to take the next three minutes. Whatever you're doing, rowing, skiing, biking, running, walking. I want you to consciously, with every single stroke you take or step you take, whatever it is, I want you to imagine that you're taking all of the crap in your life right now and you're just one by one putting it into this big balloon that you have in front of you. You're just like stuffing it through that balloon. Okay? Go ahead right now. I want you to start. Just imagine taking all of that, all that stuff, all of that weird, all of that hard, all of that all the things that just feel like they're setting you guys back, you and your families, you and your, you and yourself, whatever it may be, whatever it is, setting you back. I want you to just close your eyes while you're doing this. All right, don't need to watch me. And just imagine each of those things. You can pick it out of the sky. You can grab it with your hands. And I want you to shove it inside of a balloon. You've got this big rubber balloon in front of you. And you're just taking every little thing, every frustration, everything that isn't going right. Everything that feels wrong, take them all. Just put them, just pack them into this. How full can you get that balloon right now? Leaving all of the things that still feel grounded in your life. 
leaving all the things that make you feel positive every day, leaving all the things you're thankful for, that you're grateful for, the people you love, the things you love. Leave that all outside of the balloon, okay? Let it just float in space. It's just floating around you right now. As you're doing this workout, your eyes are closed, okay? Keep stuffing. Keep finding every little thing. Search, search your brain for the nooks and crannies. What are the little things that are, are just getting you? Grab them, pick them up. And I want you to like, you can even be a little bit aggressive with it. Just shove it into that balloon really hard. Okay? Well, that balloon's getting fuller and fuller. And it can expand. It can, it can carry as much as you need to put in there. Okay? Keep going. 20 more seconds of this. Can you find anything else that just doesn't feel right? That feels like it's setting you off. It's kind of knocking you off balance a little bit. Find the last things. Put them in that balloon. You have five more seconds of this, and then you're going to hold on to that balloon. Keep that balloon in your hand. Okay, now we're going to switch. So you're going to hold that balloon now. And now, with every single breath that you take, every time you exhale, right now, keep your eyes closed. I want you to imagine that you're inflating the balloon. Okay, you're inflating it with helium, but from your own breath. So you're holding this giant balloon. And just, every time you exhale, you're filling that balloon with air. You're just gonna try and blow it as big as you can. At first, you're just blowing it to like a standard big balloon that you've ever seen inflated before. And just keep inflating, putting that air into the balloon. Every time you exhale, every exhale goes directly into that balloon. And with every exhale comes the remnants of anything that's been feeling stagnated inside of you, okay? So you're blowing that into the balloon as well as the helium and the air. This balloon's starting to get a little bit bigger now. So as that balloon inflates, you start to see it, you're like, wow, this is it's actually getting kind of big. But next, I want you to imagine that that balloon can reach the size of a hot air balloon. You can still hold on to it, but you're just putting more and more of your breath into this, helping to inflate it, okay? The thing's getting bigger and bigger, bigger and bigger. Just imagining how strong your lungs are, how capable you are, how big this balloon is. Right now it's the size of a hot air balloon's canopy. You're blowing, putting that air into the balloon. Next, you're gonna see if you can make it the size of a house, okay? It just has to get even bigger. Your goal now is to just forget boundaries of what size balloon you think it can be. You just keep going. How big can you inflate this thing? Because it's still your breath that's doing it. But with every breath that you give, your breath gets stronger. Your breath gets more full. And you're able to inflate this thing even larger. So forgetting those boundaries right now. Now, I want you to pinch it off. Okay? With one hand, you're going to pinch it off. And I want you to just tie this big old knot in it. This big old knot in the opening. You've got the strength. It's easy. For how much air and how much crud is in this balloon, you're surprised at how easy it is to tie a big old knot in this thing, okay? Now, in one fell swoop, we're gonna do this together. You can do it out loud, you can do it silently in your head, it's up to you, but you're still holding this thing. In one, I want us all just let go of those balloons and let out a big scream. Again, you can let it go, you can be, an actual scream can be an internal scream, whatever you need it to be. We're going to do it together, okay? You're all going to release those balloons. And then out a big scream in three, two, one. Let it go. All right, let that thing go. Let it all out, screaming through your stomach. Let the air out. Let it just flow out with you. Anything that's left over, you're watching that balloon now fly away. Just watch it float away out of your, out of your line of sight out of the atmosphere, past the clouds, somewhere out there into the universe. And so it's just so far away that you can't see it anymore. Okay, and it's just gone. All that is gone. And what I want you to focus on now is coming back to even breath. Let your breath just come back to you. Let the mind be blank. Let the mind just sit calmly and quietly, that balloon's gone, never to be seen again. You're still here. 
okay? I want you to breathe. I want you to just take a couple minutes to listen to your breath now and let the brain be clear for the first time in days, weeks, okay? It's all gone. Just breathe, Let's be quiet together. Enjoy the quiet right now. That was great, guys. Really nice job. You can gently open your eyes now if you've had them closed and just settle into the same breathing rhythm. Nothing crazy. Just let it keep going. Just enjoy. Now, enjoy what you just created for yourself. Enjoy that space. Enjoy that calm. What I want you to just think about now, wherever you are, just imagine this bright light kind of washing over you right now. Whether it's the lights in your house or the sunlight, if you, you know, after this workout is done, if you can go stand next to the window to get some, some bright light. Imagine that light just locking it in, just solidifying everything that you just worked on. The sweat, the calm mind, the clear head, all those things. Let it just be locked in place. Let's shut them off. Um, let me go back to some comments now. Bella Doherty, Danny, hope you at least have your rower out. Andrew, just glad to see you doing pretty well. Thanks, Andrew. Appreciate that. Danny Bella, this is an apartment building in the rower. Is that my gym? Oh, no. Steve, locked on here in Scotland. Gym closed. Spending traveling money on the rower. Some good coming out of this. That's true. Danny, cool. Steve, glad to hear you. James. Just finished a PR of 6,400 meters on the row in 23.43. Thanks for the inspiration, Shane. You're very welcome, James. Thanks for joining. Danny, Shane, what you said just now, I did in my last 2K row. Whenever it got hard, thought about all the bad things, just row harder. Maybe this is why I lost nine seconds of time. Marco, cool. Sasha, Beam, can have body concept too. A week ago, learning routines to i was comfortably doing 10 for 15K. Um, B, Micken. Yes, our marathon program is excellent for that in the crew. So if you need that, do it. Um, what food? It's a good exercise. Stress liver, yeah. Kyle, yeah, I feel better now. Benjamin, thanks, buddy. I'll have to schedule a full hour. Please, from now on, back to work. Keep it up. Guys, that was excellent. Proud of you all. Thank you for going with me on that. I know that's not what you came expecting, perhaps, but it's worth it for all of us. Nice job. So now we're just settling in. Got some time left. Take some water now. Hope you guys are enjoying this, by the way. 
y'all are my inspiration to keep going every day and show up. I would not be doing this kind of work if I wasn't committed to doing these lives for you. What more can I do for you guys? What can I help you? While we're here together. What do you need right now? Boo. Got our motivation too. Thank you for creating the content and building this community. Thank you. And you're welcome. Danny, feel better soon. Thanks, Danny. Danny, you've been hanging out. Have you been doing the workouts in off times, like watching the recordings? Or what are you getting done? You've been religious about showing up with me. How are you getting the workouts in? Y'all are a quiet bunch today compared to the uh, past couple days. <laughs> I feel like we're hitting like a day two of the week lull. I feel it too. I think we all do. I think every day's got a little bit of a lull to it somehow right now. Nothing feels quite original or quite normal. Kind of like a little Groundhog Day experiment. Have a good swipe. So that inside 25 minutes now. Danny just at home body exercise, running up the floors, six for a minute. Oh, that's nice. Danny, did you do our workout yesterday? The uh, the three minutes with 30. Uh, with 30 squats, 20 push-ups and burpees, one minute. Because that'd be good. Three minutes of stair climbs. Followed by all that. That'd be a doozy for those squats. Oh, I feel like I'm catching a little bit of a second wind right now. Settling in. No. I had to work till late to some deadline, but I will do. Good. Let me know how that one goes, Danny. I'm curious. Next slide, you jump back on. See if you can do it today at some point, or tomorrow, before I do my next slide at 11. And then report back. Love Shane, got to run here. Stress really came at the right time. Taking a walk after a couple of hours in the home office. Definitely going to row today with your 30 minute rowing workout video. Yes, do it. Oh, by the way, surprise for this week, just for those of you who are here watching, because if you're 37 minutes into this, you're committed. This Friday's workout is gonna be another silent workout. I don't know how many of you guys have seen our silent 20 minutes of rowing, but we do another one. This time Coach John, um, who runs our, who I have managing the crew. Um, John did, I believe it was 15 minutes, a 15 minute row, silent. So we just give you some nice, like really meditative kind of movement to follow. So get excited for this Friday's workout. Usually goes live 3 p.m. Pacific time on Fridays. Looking forward to that on Friday. Love it, Bill. Have a good one. Thank you for joining us.
Danny, yesterday I was at the new house with some builder. He was at the fifth floor. I went up to the stairs six, seven times. No elevator. So at least something for sure. Why did not use the elevator? Good job. There's nothing like just those small decisions, right? Little things like that just add up over time. Parking a car at the far end of the parking lot. I know it sounds so stupid, but it just it like teaches much deeper lessons than just that one time of parking at the far end of the lot. It's like teaches you that that you can do so much more. Right? That, like parking at the far end of the lot takes you an extra 15 seconds of walking, but it just makes your body move, gets the blood pumping. Danny is not running yet, and also it's fun. James, look to your website, and there's a picture of you in a sweet blue DHR sweatshirt. I looked, didn't see them for sale. Any chance you can get some sometimes? Is the one that just says Dark Horse on it? Because, yeah, we haven't made those in a while. Um, but we do have three new shirts coming, and I will most likely turn one of them into a sweatshirt. So get excited. I have the designs in hand. I actually just need to get them to the, the printer who handles all of our apparel stuff. Um, so three new shirts. I'm super excited about it. Huh? For sumo? No? Nope. That's You want to toe out, though. Your toes should be out, though. Toes out for a sumo, yeah. And then your hands tight. And your goal is that your shins are as vertical as possible at the bottom. So in this setup, you want your shins vertical, not knees forward. So it's like a very, you're almost like screwing your legs backwards. Yeah, even more knees back. Knees back even more, yes. Exactly, yep. It's, it's a different move for sure. Yeah, a sumo deadlift is not just a deadlift with your legs wide. It's a, it's a different movement altogether. James, yeah, that one. I'll see if maybe we can re-spin that up. Shouldn't be too hard. I'm going to be working on apparel today, so. Kyle, Shane, when you're fully healthy, do you every day? I do not. Nope. I much prefer varied training. Um, you notice all the strength equipment back here. So I will take one to two days of raw strength. That's squats or deadlifts um, plus, you know, accessories. I always love a good bodybuilding day. I'll row, I'll row at least on the erg one day and then on the water one day. And that's usually about five days. So I row about twice a week. That's about it. Because I have such varied interests, like this last summer I was doing Spartan races. I did a Spartan trifecta. So I'm always changing my trajectory. I'm always changing what I'm focusing on. And I like it that way. I like to be varied. I like learning new things. So, yeah. Right now, I'm just cycling because it's the only thing I'm allowed to do. <laughs> so. Yesterday, I added squats, as some of you saw. And that was just to feel out what squats felt like. If I've ever tried a triathlon, I've done a sprint. Not, a, not anything longer than a sprint, though. But I cycle. Uh, I'm just terrible swimming. <laughs> Actually, I'm probably, I'm better at it now than I was when I did the triathlon. Because um, I did actually have to practice swimming for the CrossFit game, so I got better at it. But the giving option, what is your, what is your opinion on rowing every day? I believe that we need more variety than doing the same thing every day, Danny. That's my, my opinion. I think we need strength in our lives. So I think everybody should be strength training to some extent relative to you, right? So if that's, you know, picking up 10-pound dumbbells because that's heavy for you, then that's, you know, that's strength. If it means picking up, you know, 200-kilo bar and putting it down a few times, then that's your strength, right? So, but I think everybody needs strength. I love rowing, but it's not the end-all be-all. Um, I think we need to be stretching. We need to be spending time on our mind and our soul. We need to be spending time working on gymnastics, balance, right? There are a whole whole slew of things that just create the human body and the human body is built to do a lot of things. And so we need to develop into as well-rounded of a person as possible. 
Danny agree, but also some weight also to row to add the aerobics. Yeah, I mean, rowing is fantastic. There's no question. Um, it just doesn't provide everything. Does it hit the majority of your body more than any other machine can? Yes. But that doesn't mean as an exercise, there's nothing else. If that makes sense, right? Comparatively. We still have other things that we should be doing with our bodies um, to help us for longevity purposes. You should be spending 20, 30 minutes, you know, at least a couple times a week stretching if you can. If it's 10 minutes, great. Be varied. That's my answer. Everything in moderation, including moderation. I'm definitely getting my saddle time in, you guys. And this is more saddle time than I've had in a long time. I feel like if I get out to my bike after this, I'm just going to be, like my actual bicycle, I'm going to be flying. Kyle, are you a triathlete? Is that why you asked if I've ever done a triathlon? Cheers. Danny, what time of the day is it there right now? I'm curious. <clears throat> I love six in the evening. Oh, it's still a nice time for you. That's good, it's not too late. I just love knowing that we have an international audience here. That seriously makes my day. But, well, getting sweaty, you guys. 6 p.m., so what's that, Poland? Mm. No, that's gotta be, I think you're Australia, right, Danny? Or have I mistaken this before? Ten hours. Or nine hours. Israel, god damn, I'm so sorry. I didn't do that math right in my head on computing science. I should remember that because I think it's Galen that shows up. She's in Australia. So it's like 2 a.m. for our 8 a.m. workouts. Or like 1 a.m. Kyle, I haven't done one yet. Before the outbreak, I was training to get in shape for one. I like the idea of training for doing an Ironman one day. Danny, it's okay. You just, I know I do. That's why I was laughing when I said it. I was like, nope. As soon as I said that, I confused Danny's location every time. <laughs> Israel. Israel. I'm really going to do my best, Danny. I swear I'm going to do my best to remember. James, finish my 10K. Cook down. You got a piece, Shane. Cut too hard. Deadline today. Thanks for everything. You're welcome, James. Thanks for joining. Have a great day. Uh-oh. We got 10% battery life left. Yeah, is there any chance you could help me for a spot? Will you see if the power cable for the phone reaches right here? Watch all that stuff. Yep, should reach. Yeah, I'm down at 10%. We're good. We got it. Uh, I can't tell, but it's okay. It's it's good. It's always good. Danny, you have a lot on you, so it's okay. Kind of like the Rowan Junior workouts to increase cardio and taking stress off my joints from running. And it's inside exercise when biker, biker or biking is impossible because of bad weather. Absolutely. A lot of people 
use rowing for their cycling cross training when they're injured or you know they have a, a niggling injury that won't go away and they find their way onto the rower train that for three six months and then when they get back to their running or cycling they find that their <laughs> fitness has improved significantly in the thing that they were doing absolutely love that piece of rowing it's just such a compliment to everything I think that's why I am so bought in on this it's because the machine doesn't have to be the focal point it can be but it's just a great compliment to everything else you're doing so there's a ton of value to you being able to use it for one two days a week and not just doing it five days six days a week there's so many other things that can be done on top of because of the fitness you gain from rowing <laughs> Good job. Good job. Spraying the chickens. Are they all running? Are they trapped in the coop? All right, we're crossing 10 minutes left, guys. Nancy, finished my 10K2, canceled our Utah ski vacation. Trying to think of home-based vacation ideas. I'm a triathlete, but haven't been training to swim and supplementing it with rowing. Good job. A, smart choice, canceling the vacation. Uh, but rowing is great for... <laughs> Don't forget the like button, everybody. Like that video before you take off. Um, but, you know, using rowing to supplement swimming is great. That's why swimmers make great rowers. Sort of water polo players. They can often step right into rowing and they just do amazing. Uh, Danny, last question. Do I miss the CrossFit Games? No, I don't. <laughs> I had four really fun years doing it. It was a really important part of my life. I loved the competition and I still love competing but it served its time um, you know it served its purpose in my life I had fun with it but it was also destructive in some ways to my body to my future to my career because it took priority above all else my life really could not move on while I was competing in and training for the games just couldn't um, I was a coach on the floor of a gym, and I was training for the games. That was, those are priorities one and two in my life. And the reason that I'm with my wife now is because we got together while I was doing all that. She basically took a back seat for two years with me being unable to even make a move in our relationship because of how committed I was. To competing so um no <laughs> i gave it up and my life's been amazing ever since and i'm thankful that she waited for me and was patient with me you know and was selfless and let me let me focus on all this um because it meant that i was able to be successful without feeling any pressure and now we, we have a family and a house that's what i've always wanted so this is more important to me Nancy, skiers make good rowers too. My competition at the Crash Beast Sprints said that was my ask. Nancy, are you cross country, I imagine, or downhill? Because I was downhill. So I also come from downhill to rowing. Danny, thank you for sharing. Sounds like a very good first name. She is. She is. Yeah, Nancy, cross country or downhill? I, was, uh, I grew up in Minnesota, slalom racing from middle school all the way through high school and I was a ski instructor for two or three years like 15 through 18 during the winters 
uh, as a kid ski instructor. And then I went to school in Colorado thinking I was going to, thinking I was going to ski, um, and become a ski bum the rest of my life. So skiing was my past, but never cross country. I never, I've, I've yet to go cross country skiing, even though I want to, I just haven't done it. If you ever come to Utah, let's hit the resorts next season. James, I actually come to Utah pretty frequently. Um, I work, I consult, I should say, I consult for USANA, um, like the USANA Amphitheater, but not the Amphitheater. <laughs> they just have the naming rights for it. So I work with USANA, and uh, I often am in Salt Lake, have a lot of friends there. Where in Salt Lake are you? Or sorry, Utah. We're in Utah, are you, James? Utah County, Provera. Cool. I'm a fan of the area. I haven't done enough skiing up there. Despite loving skiing. College students starting grad work in math. Ooh, nice work. It's not easy. What's your ultimate goal with it? Mary, just finished rowing 10 minutes with you. Thanks for what you're doing here. Looking forward to seeing you back on the tower. Stay safe from Indiana. I'm gonna get back on that tower, guys. I'm kidding, I know you mean rower. I love how the iPhone just auto-corrects rower to tower almost every time. So frustrating. <laughs> Inside five minutes left, guys. I know, Mary. She's giving me a hard time. Friggin' tech, applied math stuff, data science, all kinds of things. Dude, data science. I have a good buddy who made his career in data science, big data stuff. Runs a Tesla YouTube channel now. We're both, our kids go to the same daycare and everything. His YouTube channel is uh, Teslanomics. Y'all should check it out. If you like data science and um, electric cars, he's got it. So yeah. YouTube buddy. Yes, sweetie. There's some bugs down there. Are you gonna use the water bottle to get them? Good idea. Claudio Lopez, I'm following you from Portugal. You're doing a great job. Thanks, Claudio. James, yeah, look it up. Do it. He's uh, He knows his stuff. Worked for basically, do I like the new Tesla truck? from Cal? I have my deposit in. Do you? <laughs> I love it. I think it's so out there. It's like a DeLorean. You know, it's just so, like, funky. There's nothing else like it, and I like I like stuff like that. Like, that's cool. And I drive a, an 03 something or other right now. So, you know, I'm not like into buying new cars, but the cyber truck, I was like, that would be pretty fun. So I know how to do the military eight count. Uh, Kyle, no, no, if it is cool. You're German. So I know how to do military eight count. No, walk me through it. And why do you ask as well? Finish 10 minutes and five by one minute, one minute rest. All right, good. So 20 minutes total. Good job. I hope you did it with us. Again, guys, if you're here, like the video, share it afterwards. Give this to your friends who need something to do, something to somebody to be with, a group to be with. That's what we're here for. Remember, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 11, Tuesday, Thursday, 8 a.m., all at Pacific time, 11 a.m. 8 a.m. 
That's the new schedule. And so it is decided. Less than two minutes. It's your last deadlift, anybody? What? It's your last chance for deadlift. You have two minutes, a minute and 40 seconds left. What? You got obsessed with him? Suzanne, I'm just watching you today. That's okay. Just watching is fine. You can always come back. You're German. Starting in a standing position, you go down to a push up, then legs go out together, and spread them back, and spread them, then back together, then rest. Yes. Okay, I do know that. One minute, guys. Final minute to go. We stayed steady this whole way through. Not going to change now. Just going to stay on that rhythm. <laughs> Screamed your name the entire time. What? Yelling your name the entire time. Just on repeat, mommy, mommy. Can't see how to like video on my Android. Typically, I think if you go vertical with it, it may give you the option back. Horizontally, I think it takes it away. Try that, Mary. Five, three, two, one. Time. That's our hour. Get out of the chat and it's right below the vid. Thanks, James. Appreciate that. Whew. That was an hour of spinning, guys. Steady state. I'm tuckered. I don't know about you. Nope. Barely any water left. Didn't give myself much to start with. Thank you for joining as always. Um, guys, please like the video. Share it. Share our other videos. Anything helps right now to keep the channel moving. Um, just appreciate you guys I'm doing everything I can to try and support you. Again, if you're not on our newsletter, get on it, darkhorsewarning.com, because I believe next week we're going to be launching a uh, and a um, going to be launching a uh, competition, free competition for everybody. So I believe next Monday. So we're going to be doing taking signups this week for it, and then we'll go from there. Um, so guys, if you uh, if you enjoyed this, appreciate it. Stay tuned. Love you all, and uh, see y'all later. Have a great day.